You believe they come from a giant aluminum coil weighing 9 tons? And the worker first feeds one end of the aluminum coil into the stamping machine, from which the machine punches out 14 centimeters in diameter. Then the machine will re-stamping the disc again, press the disc into the shape of an aluminum cup, and then the conveyor belt will feed the aluminum cup into the metal forming machine, and the machine must cooperate with the lubricant to slowly stretch the aluminum cup. However, the elongated aluminum cans will also be contaminated with a large amount of lubricant, and it is very difficult for the factory to completely remove the sticky lubricant from the aluminum cans at the moment when technology is so developed. It is to clean twice with hydrofluoric acid first, and then wash repeatedly with deionized water until the aluminum can reaches the standard of food grade, and the cleaned aluminum can can be printed after drying by the dryer, and the factory will strictly follow the color and pattern required by the customer. Putting on a coat for each can, the machine then sprays a special coating on the inner wall of the can, with which the acid in the carbonated drink will not react with the can, and we will not have an unpleasant metallic taste when drinking the drink. Finally, after the closing machine narrows the position of the opening of the aluminum can, the familiar can body part of the can is ready, and then they will be packed and sent to the beverage factory, and after the canning and sealing work is completed, it can be sent to the major supermarkets.